All right, so it's time to get this board reconfigured and do all the uh, electrical rewiring parts of this. Uh, one thing important note when disassembling your your radio, make sure you keep the screw for the tuner. Um, so I need to get this turned around facing the other way. And I need to get the volume control knob here removed. Uh, also make sure you save the nut from it. You'll need it to put it into the radio case. So let me get these desoldered. down in place and I'll have my little crossover leads there. two outer pins over back in the original holes so this should function exactly as it did before so there's that one now to uh, extend our uh, iron control here
wires put back through, or put through. Let's just get them soldered in place and we'll get it cleaned up. upstairs I've been been putting the pieces in so I just I couldn't record it um, certain things like tying this string on here onto the pulleys is a uh, it's a bit of a pain in the neck but this is actually a waxed uh, durling cord you can use nylon and just cover it in beeswax but you wrap it around each pulley twice and just tie a little square knot in it make sure it's nice and tight and that'll work the tuner just wanted to get y'all look at the inner workings before I uh, closed up the box I got the little LED up there for the dial face and here's our main board so everything's shut set up and it should work so let me get this cover on and show you how it goes. All right. Radios together and turned on. Right now I have it in USB mode. I haven't finished fully assembling it. This isn't going to be my final gauge face. Um, that's just a temporary paper cutout of it. I actually got some transparency paper so that I can put this pattern on any texture I want. But uh, let me set you down there and get playing. Um, I'm still going to put some double side tape here to hold this back. Um, I just haven't gotten that yet, but let's give it a go. IV, sometimes you will be five times fast. Rich. I have this example. Let me give you the four texts.